Well, guys, it seems the WHO has no shame when it comes to hiring people who helped ruin lives from 2020 onwards. They did this by recently employing diehard commies like Professor Susan Mitchie, you know, the sage behavioural scientist who has been a member of the British Communist Party for like 50 years now and was even known as Stalin's nanny at bloody college. Yep, the WHO has decided in its infinite wisdom that this trout has showed great aptitude for destroying lives with lockdowns and that, so maybe they thought let's hire her ready for the global pandemic treaty they hope to enact soon. I mean, this is the trout who pushed the idea of people wearing face masks forever and zero COVID lockdowns like New Zealand or China. So you can be sure she might well push that when it comes to pandemic treaties now that she works for the Communist Health Organization. Now, personally, I have got to say, I do love the way that the Daily Mail is actually calling her out for the commie that she is. I mean, here they say this. A British communist scientist who wanted face masks to be worn forever has been handed an influential role at the World Health Organization. Professor Susan Mitchie, a long-standing member of the Communist Party of Britain and Labour donor, was yesterday made a chair of the WHO's Behavioural Advisory Group. So this diehard commie trout went from a national nudge unit to the future world one, which should really concern everyone, it's got to be bloody said. Oh, and I guess I should also point out the fact she appears to have resigned from her UK nudge unit position, you know, before any inquiries could take place. This despite the fact the policies she's pushed have cost people their lives and obviously their livelihoods. I would say it's funny how the people responsible for ruining lives can just resign and take up new jobs somewhere else while avoiding the consequences of their actions, but obviously it happens all the time. Now, of course, this is the fault of our corrupt system that lets people do it, but these people really see us as sheep and nothing more. The sheep, the mere sheep. Yet, be it politicians or civil servants, the contempt they hold for us mere peasants is very real, so we should really expect it at the end of the day. And, to be honest with you, thinking a politician works for your best interests is like thinking a prostitute loves you because you pay her to climb on your pole. The same is true for these government scientists who are now joining up with the people who want to be part of some world government and tell us what to do and lock us down when they bloody want. This, like I said, is not good for anyone and won't be for us in the UK when our corrupt politicians sign us up to the global pandemic treaty and future climate lockdowns that I would bet a bloody come in. Where 